have an excellent plan to make some dough, but if you squeal, I'll bump you off. Anyhow, I'm going to buy some chickens from Mr. Baldy Livingstone, anywhere from 25 to 50, at five cents each. I've shut off part of the hen coop, and I'm making a tinned enclosure to keep the chicks in. If I get 50, and they live pretty well, there ought to be 20 roosters at $1.25 when grown, and 30 pullets, which should lay fairly good. But don't tell anybody, because I might change my mind. We are so very proud to have carried on the legacy started by our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, and we really have come from very humble beginnings, and really the continuity of the business and the continuity of the family are intertwined. It's something that I think we all take great pride in, and as our family has gone through the generations and our business has evolved, Certainly societal definition of sustainability has changed through these times and so I think it's really beautiful for us as a family to see our values and societal values coming together in terms of how you define sustainability. We have four barns on the site and there's uh, about 36,000 birds in each barn so there will be just over 100,000 layers. We decided to go with a free range barns or farm and the birds have complete access to come outside. They can exhibit all of their natural behaviors. They can forage on the grass, get extra nutrients out of the grass. We decided to uh, put our chickens on the range so the consumer could have the choice of free range birds. Um, but we do need to mitigate that risk of birds being outside. There are predator risks, there are disease issues that could pop up. So the birds go into the barn, into the safe environment every night. The egg is a protein source for human consumption that has a low carbon footprint. You want to keep the chickens healthy and content and you want to keep diseases out of the barns. And it's very, very important nowadays because avian influenza is a disease that has been killing chickens around the world, chickens and turkeys, poultry. And biosecurity is how you keep it out of your barns. You just basically have to keep the diseases on the outside and the chickens on the inside. Sustainability means having a constant supply of eggs moving from our farms to the stores. And that's why biosecurity is so important and such a big priority for us. burnbury has been on a sustainability journey for a really long time. Um, we understand that we are the largest family-owned and operator Canadian egg producer, and we have a responsibility when it comes to improving our processes and reducing our carbon footprint any way we can. And in fact, in 2022, we actually made a commitment to be carbon net zero by 2050. We've invested in electric vehicles as well as renewable technology. We're reducing our waste and we're setting interim targets from now until 2050 that will help us to get there. The birds constantly need moving fresh air in the barn. We have automatic feeders in there. They're run by the motors and obviously fresh water. We need fresh water every day. We run those with power. We have solar panels on all three barns and then we just share power with the pullet barn. And then in the summer we have too much solar power so we're actually able to share that with the neighboring farm. We store just enough power in the batteries to get us through the nights or those cloudy, rainy days. And then uh, we also have just enough battery storage for the shortest day of the year in the winter. With less than 2% of the population farming in the developed world, I think we face a huge challenge because if people want to continue to eat, and we all do, everyone needs products from farmers. We know we need to intensify to keep feeding the growing population. I think it's critical that we as a society and we as farmers you know, evolve our practices sustainably. And uh, we don't quite have it right yet, but I believe we will get there. <laughs>